definitely this is not a this is not a sponsored video you guys just in case you think this is a sponsored video it's not a sponsored video i am just making this video of my own accord of my own desire of my own will i know i promised a review for the dishwasher in the last video and finally i thought i would record it today so that's what we're going to be talking about um i'm just gonna start off by letting you guys know why i want a dishwasher number one i just hate washing plates i honestly feel like washing plates is the worst chore in the house and yeah um <laughs> Yeah, I'd rather just not wash the place altogether to be honest. Um, so having a dishwasher definitely makes life easy for me. Um, all for automating your home as much as you can and making sure that everything that can be outsourced to a machine is actually outsourced to a machine. So um, yeah, dishwashers, washing machines, robo cleaners, robo sweepers. We have a robo sweeper which I am really and excited, which I'm actually really excited to show you guys um, in another video maybe. So yeah, um, just automate whatever you can, especially as a young wife if you can, because there's just so much that has to be done. And as a young new wife, honestly speaking, it's a lot to juggle between, you know, like home front, work front, new wife front, it's a lot. Um, so yeah, we appreciate the help and everybody can. Um, I'm going to be reviewing the Capri 13 plate dishwasher, which I recently got uh, a couple of months ago. Yeah, so I've been using it for about three months now and I thought, okay, I've been using this for three months now. So this is probably the most perfect time to give a review. I didn't want to just rush into giving you guys a review after using it for one week. And then finding out that I actually don't like it or that I actually really love it and then misleading you guys. So here we go, through my later with a review. Um, the first thing is, the first thing is that the color was just perfect. I have a silver gray dishwasher, which if you watch the other shopping vlog, you actually know by now that I was looking for a color that would blend into my kitchen and blend in with all the other appliances that are already in here. I definitely did not want something that was white, <laughs> that would be out of place. And I did not want something too big that would not fit into the um, compartment we have for appliances. So when we went looking for a dishwasher, I had the ergonomics in mind. So yes, um, this dishwasher is perfect. The capacity is just amazing, it's perfect. Um, it's not too big, it fits perfectly into the section, which was actually meant for dishwashers and dryers and washing machines and get it, get it, get it. So in that regard, we had the washer system already installed into the, into the kitchen. We had the taps as well, so that's just perfect. Well, the next thing I'd like to get into is the functions of the dishwasher. The dishwasher has eight functions, which work really really amazing um i haven't really used the other ones like the glassware one and um let's see the glassware the um echo 50 i've used that one a bit i haven't just like stuck to one mode because i have different requirements at different times in my house so um my go-to and my favorite is the intensive 65 degree Celsius wash mode. This one basically just cleans your dishes clean. Okay, I'm talking like after you have your salsa and your rice and okay, rice is even like not as bad, but after you have the salsa and you know, things are sticky and messy, this is just the perfect mode for your dishwasher. So it has four modes and the best thing about this dishwasher, it has a pre-wash mode. So I'm sure you've heard the uh, famous, oh, rinse your plates before you put them into the dishwasher whole scenario. With this dishwasher, you actually don't have to. You simply take your plates, load them onto the dishwasher, load them in and shut it and it will do the pre-washing for you. It has a pre-wash function, which takes about 20 minutes and that's just perfect. Um, the intensive wash that I generally tend to gravitate towards takes about two hours. So yeah, um, I'm looking at about two hours 20 um, for running a full cycle of everything, like all the plates, and then my plates are done. 
So I simply put them in, go do something else, and then come back and my face are ready. <laughs> and bad habit, I normally tend to under them when I actually need to use them. So now we're gonna talk about the efficiency. Um I feel like the uh Capri dishwasher is actually very energy efficient. Um by energy efficient, I mean it doesn't use too much power. When we first got it, we were wondering if we had to up our power purchases or our um, power tokens, like if we had to increase the amount of electricity we were buying. And turns out it actually uses next to nothing, which is just welcome. It's I love it because I'm a sustainability consultant and also because it's just, it's cheap to run. So it's definitely like light on the pocket in terms of electricity, which is something I really love and appreciate. Um, it's essentially, I think the one mode that takes the most time is the echo, echo mode. And the echo mode basically cleans things slower. It takes four hours to clean using the echo mode, but it's definitely the most energy efficient mode. So if you always want to clean your stuff at like the most energy efficient range, then it has the mode for that. All right, and also while we're on that PowerPoint, um, I know a lot of people tend to think, oh, what will I do if I don't have electricity? What if this or goals? What if power is cut? The greatest thing about this dishwasher is you can actually run it on a solar backup system. Um, I think the first thing would be to check what, um, what capacity your solar pack your solar backup system is we have a i think i don't know three three point five three five i don't know somewhere there but um it works perfectly so during the day you can literally put the dishwasher on and it will not struggle to wash all your plates and finish them on time seamlessly all right so let's talk about it cause for this um so obviously you've bought your dishwasher now or you're contemplating buying your dishwasher now what I'm just gonna show you guys a few parts that I use for our dishwasher and also, um, you know, share with you our experiences, um, <laughs> our experiences with using other products that didn't quite work. And I'll also like share just so that you don't do it as well. So the first thing is we used this. We used Sunlight dishwashing liquid, which absolutely did a terrible job at getting the dishes clean um, in the dishwasher. I think this is just strictly for hand washing and would highly not recommend it for your dishwasher. It doesn't get the job done. Um, you're, especially, especially if you are using borehole water, which tends to be termed hard water. This is just not the product you use, so get rid of it. So I'm just gonna show you guys. Uh, I'm going to put down the number of the lady who sells us the uh, uh, products that we use for our dishwasher. Um, the first thing you need to invest in if you're using boho water is dishwasher salt. So this is it. Um, dishwasher salt is used to desalinate your dishwasher, um, to desalinate the hard water that is coming from your borehole and used to wash your plates. So if you're using a borehole, definitely you need to invest in dishwasher salt because your water will be too hard and obviously the um, the technology on the dishwasher is so good, it actually detects the water level, hard, the water hardness level. So if you've got hard water, it will indicate that the dishwasher needs dishwasher salt. If your dishwasher indicates that you need dishwasher salt and you don't actually use those dishwasher salts, what will then happen is all your plates will have a white film around them because they are not rinsing well. Now, because of the hard water, what you actually need is something called rinse aid. So rinse aid allows you to, allows your place to rinse well, especially if you're using hard water. Anyway, even if, whatever type of water you're using, you just need rinse aid because it has to, um, it acts as an, an, an aid for your rinsing. Sounds funny, but that's what it is. It just aids the rinsing process. So if you want to have your, your place dry and ready to use, you need to use rinse aid. And um, yeah, this is what it looks like. This is about $3. Um, we buy this for $3 and a bottle could last us up to, I think a month or two, a month, maybe six weeks. 
Um, depending on how frequently you run your dishwasher. Um, the dishwasher salts are also, I think, $3. And they go a very, very long way. Um, the next thing is these dishwasher tabs. So, these are the dishwasher tabs that we use. Um, they are, they come in a box of 39. Come in a box of 39. Um, and yeah, they clean really well. Um, this is a no, but this is exactly what you should be using if you are using a dishwasher. Um, in here are 39 tabs. I'm just gonna show you guys what it looks like. This is what a tab looks like. This is what a tab looks like. So it just looks like this. And every um, wash you run, every cycle you run, requires one tab. So whether you put five plates in and you run your dishwasher and this is in, or whether you put 13 plates, whether you put 20 plates in your dishwasher, as long as you're running a cycle, it uses one of these. Um, it uses one of these. Um, this box of 39 is $10 from the lady who buys from the lady who supplies our dishwasher tabs. Um, I've tried looking for these in Pick and Pay, and Pick and Pay has them for 179,000, which if you're dividing that by six, that's about 28, $29, I think, somewhere there, it's close to $30, which is just outrageous. Like, why is it dollars in dishwasher tabs? These things cost like five bucks, five, five bucks, three pounds in different countries. So it just doesn't make sense. Because of um, the fact that if you use one tab, you have one cycle um, catered for. And because it's just two people at the moment in this house, because we don't have any guests or anyone like that at the moment, um, I generally tend to run the dishwasher once a day in the evening. So in, during the day, I literally put all the plates inside and then well depending on how i'm feeling some days i run the pre-wash function so that they just don't get like dry inside so yeah put the plates inside there and wait for the rest of the day's plates and then at night when i'm done with what i'm doing in the kitchen i run it once and in the morning my plates are ready to use um yeah and then for your maintenance as well you probably need something like this you need a dishwasher cleaner um yeah so this is what we use to just um clean the dishwasher um the capri dishwasher has a machine care function so when your dishwasher is getting dirty and it's not cleaning the place as it should be probably like once or twice why some month you should run a machine care um, cycle just so that it cleans the dishwasher and makes sure that everything is clean. And as you do that, you use this. This is about five dollars, I think. Three, five, five dollars, somewhere there. So yeah, pretty much that's just what we use to um, run the dishwasher and keep it going. These four super, 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 super useful products. Um, so yeah, pretty much those are the running costs that I have to incur with this dishwasher, which is not too high, if I must admit. Um, it, I do feel, however, that the dishwasher tabs could be cheaper, but because of Zoom and there's not very many around us yet, it is what it is. <laughs> um, yeah, so I think it's pretty convenient um, having this dishwasher. I haven't had any problems with it, um, I have had one problem, which was my fault because I was using this. So obviously with your dishwasher, if you use the wrong products, it's going to give you really botched results. So yeah, if you are using a dishwasher, then just avoid using the wrong products, use the right products, and then you won't actually have any problem with your dishwasher. The only downside, the only downside with the dishwasher is when you have plate, when you have dirty pots, because like all the plates and stuff, but then the dirty pots and the extremely dirty pans have to be hand washed. Which, yeah, you know, 
<laughs> but I mean, how many pots do you use in a day? So yeah, um, I think that's the only downside of having this dishwasher, but everything else is probably a positive from me. Would I recommend you to buy it for your home? 100% totally would recommend you to get yourself your own dishwasher if you have the money to buy it, if you have the space. It's, for me, it's really less about the money and more about the space. If you don't have the space already allocated to the dishwasher in the kitchen. My mom's calling me. So yeah, um, for me, it's less of the uh, do you have the money and more of do you have the space allocated for this appliance. Because what tends to happen, especially with older apartments, you find or older houses, you find there's actually no space allocated to dishwashers and washing machines. So, yeah. Then you need to figure out the whole plumbing situation and the drainage side of things because it has to drain into some pipe that leads directly to like the sewer and like septic tanks and stuff like that. So, if you have the space allocated for it already, if you don't, Figure that out with your plumber first before you get the dishwasher and then yeah, you can take things up from there. Um, again, definitely, this is, not a, this is not a sponsored video you guys, just in case you think this is a sponsored video, it's not a sponsored video. I am just making this video of my own accord, of my own desire, of my own will because support and uncle is a great thing one and two. Just two. Um, but yeah, I just thought to share my experiences and not being a gatekeeper. So I hope this video helped you if you're contemplating and buying your own complete dishwasher.